Let's see. I've got one more. One that I always like. It's a little late today. Um, so life, math, money, real advice. The biggest mistake guys make on dates is speaking too much. Shut up and let the girl talk. Pause one second before you speak. You know, let's just go ahead and look at speak with control and don't talk about smart things like DNA, Bitcoin. This is good. Just keep it girl level, astrology, celebrities, stupid shit. Um, dress well, show interest, you'll be fine. He's He's got a lot. I can't disagree with anything in here. And I think LMM is actually Indian, which makes it hard. They have a completely different culture. But he, this is good Western dating philosophy. Um, attraction is attraction. Game is game. Charisma is charisma. But in game, when I would meet up with a girl and I always would say, you know, tell me about your worst date ever. Alcoholics, guys showing up drunk was number one. But the second one was always he came in and talked about himself for an hour and a half, two hours, and then he left. That that selfishness, that self-centeredness, that lack of interest in other people, that will cock block you. You'll cock block yourself every time. So just like Life Math Money says, talk less. The less chances you have of sticking your fucking foot in your mouth, saying something stupid or wrong, it goes down. It's just like we say the phone is for logistics. Even when you meet up face-to-face, -face, have an opener have some basic questions like I have in my my book, you know, um, how to build a dating system. I have like two pages of questions that I used to use as a cheat sheet. If I got stuck, I'd go check my cheat sheet. It actually works. Um, I would do that and you can find how to build your dating system right there at fortworthplayboy.gumroad.com. Just scroll down and look for the title. But again, it reinforces that less is more in dating. Talk a little bit less, a little less texting, fewer words. Women, and studies have shown this, women are more attracted to men they find mysterious than men they know everything about. There's something about, that's why these girls like these vampire and werewolf and all these weird science fiction fantasy books. Why? Because the guys are mysterious. That's what they like. They don't want to know everything about you. There's no reason to even meet up if they know everything about you before a first date. So keep it simple. Let your chemistry speak for yourself. The fact that you're socially um, you know, adept and ask her about herself, ask follow-up questions, let her talk. She'll think you're the most interesting person she's ever met. Again, because they're so used to being around men that are like a hammer and the dude just only knows how to hammer and he loves the sound of his own voice and they're out there in droves. If she can get a little bit more balanced conversation out of you, she thinks you're like the most charismatic, handsome, doesn't matter man. Again, women will find you to be better looking simply by your personality. It doesn't make sense to us. doesn't have to. You just have to know if you allow her to talk about herself more, she'll find you more interesting, believe it or not. It doesn't make sense to us, but it does make sense to the girls. But when you talk less, you text less and you use fewer words, you're going to make yourself more attractive. And this is one of those things you can put into play today, and you will see a reaction that women kind of like perk up. You would, you can put this into play immediately. You don't even have to think about it. Just a little less response, slower responses, less texting, use fewer words. Um, there's no doubt, no, you know, no capitalization, no pronunciation. So all these things kind of file into a guy that has other interests. He doesn't give a fuck. He's self-centered. Um, he's aloof. He's indifferent. And women find these things to be extremely attractive. So that's a real deal. Less is more. Life, life math money has it nailed up. Don't go into a day and talk about yourself the entire fucking time because you're just going to push her away. Let her talk about herself, have interesting questions that are open-ended that she can kind of expand on. And it doesn't, you don't even have to really, you know, you will find things to talk about in common. 
Um, but that's the real deal. And that's how you end up, you know, leading her. And then you have a plan. Follow your dating system. You'll move this girl from complete stranger to in your bed and naked. You can do it in one or two dates. I've never had anybody go to the third date. And there's no reason for you to be the first. So that's the real deal. If you guys like this, like it, share it. Tell your friends all about it. Um, and if you're interested in financially supporting this mission, um, we have, I have like 20 books. Bunny has like 20, 25 books. You can either find it at myplayboysbunny.gumroad.com or fortworthplayboy.gumroad.com. Um, and if you have any questions, by all means, put it in the Twitter comments. I'll see it. Put it in comments on YouTube and I'll address it. And tomorrow morning, I'll be back here in the morning at around 6.30 a.m. Central Standard Time for question of the day. And if you guys like it, like it, share it, subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great day.